Well here we have something very nice, a 2002 Land Rover Discovery TD5. It's just had the one former keeper, two ladies from new. The first lady bought it brand new off Guy Salmon, part exchanged it into Guy Salmon in 2006 where she bought another one. And the last lady bought it off Guy Salmon in 2006. And she's had it till last week, till I got it. She part exchanged it in it. Mercedes Benz of Harrogate for a new Mercedes. And that's how I ended up with this. I know the sales manager at Mercedes Harrogate and he tips me off on any nice examples that are too good to go to the auctions. And here is one of those. The bodywork is absolutely stunning. I don't think I've seen a 12 year old Ford before in this condition for a long time. I think the only got a little bit of a little bit of a scratch there, most of that will just tee cut off a bit. Just been fussy for a 12 year old vehicle, there's no dints and scratches anywhere. Just a little bit on the wheel arch, which you come and follow it. The paint is just gone a little bit, looks like it's gone a bit a little bit fady. Just on the rubber wheel arches, that's all. Tailgate's perfect, all the common problems with these model, there's no problem on this one. It's got a full set of Land Rover plastic mats underneath, he's like brand new. Load cover, twin sunroofs. Some of the earlier models did suffer from a little bit of rust to this area, no problem on this car. All mats, all the carpets are like brand new. Back seats don't look like they've been used in. Even the spare wheel is brand new, brand spanking new, never been used. The alloy wheels, there's not a mark or a scrape or a kerb on any of the four wheels, they're like you. In fact, I go as far to say I can't believe these are 12 year old, these were alloy wheels, they must have been replaced at some stage to be so nice. Again, just being a bit fussy, just a little bit of uh, fading on, a little bit of the paintwork, just on the arches, a little bit of mottling. Just being cosmetically fussy. Tiny little, what I would call it, a dimple. I wouldn't call it a dent. Just a little bit of a dimple. A centimetre long on the driver's door. Again, being fussy. Same story. Driver's seat. She's certainly never uh, been off road in this. There's never been a tow bar fitted. It's never had a. It's never certainly been a workhorse. All the carpets. I like new. It's got a CD changer under the seat, six disc. You've got both keys, everything works, remote control off both keys, as you would expect. She starts up on the button. It was last serviced 1,000 miles ago, a full service at 121,000 miles, and that was in January of this year. Uh, you've got the electric retractable mirrors. All electric windows. Everything's working. Central locking, electric windows. Two sunroofs. Both blinds, same on the rear sunroof. We've got cruise control. I drove it 90 mile back from Harrogate. Cruise control worked perfectly. The volume control works on that side for the audio. The cruise control there, that works. The air conditioning's getting cold. It's got climate control. Cigarette lighter and ashtray have never been used. Two front cup holders and another two cup holders. Power steering, of course. Drive the leather steering wheel. There's not a mark on it. Beautiful. As I say, I think you'll find it hard to find a better example for the 2002 model. It's done 120,000. About average miles, 10,000 mile a year. There you go. There's the last lady who's owned it in Leeds from 2006. One former keeper. 
And there's the first lady. It's a TD5GS model. I'll include a new MOT, it's only got a short MOT, so I'll include a new MOT before delivery. Should it want any jobs that will be included. It's got full service history, uh, supplied by guys Sam and New, serviced by them at 10,000, 21,000, 29,000, then lastly at 41,000 when the last lady bought it off Guy Salmon. She was taking it then to Land Rover in Durham at 52,000, again at 61,000 and 71,000. So full service history by Land Rover to 71,000. Then it's just been serviced by two other garages at 79,000 by Helm Park Motor Services, again by Helm Park at 97,000. And then Princess Garage have been looking after it right up till January this year, a thousand mile ago, at 108,000 mile. It's had a full service every year. 113,000 mile. And lastly, 121,113 miles with a few jobs added, a full service, and that was in 19th of January this year. The only thing it needs is road tax for the road. So serviced, MOT'd, delivered anywhere in the country free of charge. And I'm quite happy to uh, tax it if you wish, at your cost. You decide whether you want 6 or 12 months, and I can do that before delivery. Back seats don't look like they've been used. Very easy, one button, and then you lift that there, and then that folds up. Same on the passenger side of course. Same story, rear mats underneath are like brand new. Again, a full boot load cover, carpets totally like new. Cubby holes either side, and you've got your load cover. Everything's present and correct. And there we have it. Very, very nice example of a 2002 Land Rover Discovery turbo diesel.